Hi, I'm Cassandra Nichols. I am the Director of Programs for Earthwatch Australia. We're here today at Lucinda and we're about to head over to Orpheus Island, which is just off Townsville. We have seven volunteers or participants and five researchers. We're going to be over on the island for six days doing coral research. We'll be seeing firsthand the damage that black band disease is causing to our reef system and also the destruction that the cyclones have. So we're learning from the scientists about what's causing it and what we can do to help. My name's David Bourne. I work at the Australian Institute of Marine Science and my speciality is in marine microbiology with a particular focus on coral microbiology and coral disease. Coral reefs are vital for millions of people around the world. So they're not only areas of great beauty and attract a lot of tourists, they are also really important for providing a source of protein and livelihoods for, for millions of people, especially in developing countries. So in the last 30 years, we've seen a rapid decline in coral reefs, where current estimates say there's about 20% of reefs have been effectively destroyed, where there's no hope for their recovery. There's a number of factors that cause declines in coral reefs worldwide, and disease is one of those factors. And we've been looking at one particular disease at this site, which is black band disease. Black band forms a really complex microbial consortium, which means there's a whole mix of different microorganisms that act together to form a toxic environment. The corals do not like that environment in terms of it's very anoxic, which means there's no oxygen, and it's full of sulphide, like that rotten egg gas smell. And so the tissues underneath that microbial lesion actually die and the lesion progresses across the coral so it can move about two centimetres a day and can rapidly kill the coral underneath. So our research is trying to understand what's making corals sick. If we can understand what's making corals sick, then we can actually go some way to potentially prevent those disease outbreaks. So today we're heading out to a site that um, got ripped up pretty badly by Cyclone Yassi, so all the coral got removed. So thanks to one of the prior ships, they set up some 10 by 10 meter transects with some star pickets. And um, I'm going to try and find those first. <laughs> and then um, going in and measuring the corals that have been coming back, their size, their growth rates. Yeah, it should be good. Years ago there was a major cyclone, Cyclone Yassi, that came through and it devastated this coral reef. So over the last couple of years we've been mapping and trying to understand how the corals have been recovering to that devastation. So we have the volunteers working with us here and they take certain areas which we've mapped out and they go through and count and measure the corals that are, that are actually recovering on this reef. It's actually a real thrill to see a coral two centimetres long or four centimetres long and yeah. starting to poke up amongst all a the debris. Coral. The engagement between Ames and Earthwatch has been very valuable. The volunteers have been extremely helpful in the field in terms of they allow us to do our work quicker. Because underwater we need to do a lot of measurements and we're having engaged volunteers in helping us do those measurements. We can divide into teams and spread the workload across more teams. We've um, really lapped all this up. It, yeah. it doesn't feel like we're here to work. It seems like that's just a small part of enjoying the environment. The whole place is idyllic. Yeah. It's, it's, it's lovely and well appointed and an easy pace. You know, you're out on the boat. It's beautiful. Yesterday, the lovely sunset. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the banter amongst the group is, is great. Yeah. You always meet interesting people. You start off working with a team and you finish the evening working as a team and then relax in each other's company. So it's a very different holiday. Earthwatch is a very important partner for us. And what I always am quite surprised about every time I do these trips is the enthusiasm of the volunteers. I just can't stop smiling. Um, it's fantastic. It's really relaxing. Um, something I always really wanted to do was come up here and experience the Great Barrier Reef. So for me, it's um, very um, tick off the personal life list, I think, yeah, for sure.
By coming out on an Earthwatch expedition, the general public are actually becoming more aware of how scientists collect their data. So then when they're reading things in the newspaper or watching the news, they actually can understand how these conclusions are being drawn. So they physically see and first-hand experience the hard work that goes into collecting that information. It's really opened my eyes and so it's not as easy as just popping up for a couple of days, doing a little quick survey, come back and saying, well, this is how it works. Um, it's a much more complicated environment um, and that's been fantastic to so appreciate that. Thank you.